Hello friends and followers, so today we're going to make lomo terrine, which is a Peruvian dish, which is served over pasta. There is another variation of this called lomo sotado, which is over french fries. Either version is great. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to cut up our onions, and basically you're going to obviously peel them, but you're going to chop them up to kind of be uniform sizes. That's really the only trick to this whole process. You're then going to cut up your tomatoes and de-seed them. As you notice, I do have quite a few tomatoes here, and I do this because over pasta I want it a little juicier. You're also going to cut the tomatoes up to be about the same size as your onions. This is just more for uniformity's sake, especially over french fries. It just makes everything a little bit easier to eat. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is take our beef. Typically this is all beef, but I am going to add chicken because I have a picky eater that swears they don't like steak. But you're going to, I take my steak meat and just cut it up into bite-sized pieces and trim off any fats or silver skin because I did have silver skin on this one, which is really tough to eat. Um... But again, you're cutting everything down to bite-sized pieces. Again, I did add chicken. The chicken is also really good in it. You could use chicken if you wanted. Again, cut these down and get the fat, extra excess fat off. And then in a pan, you're going to add a little bit of olive oil and butter. And you're going to put your chicken in first. Cook this for about five to six minutes or so because uh, it will cook a little bit longer. And then you're going to add your beef. Now, this is where this is a totally a preference if you want it about medium rare. Only cook it for an additional three minutes or so. Um, as you see, as I'm cooking, I'm just stirring and watching it because I still want my beef a little pink. And then once it's to your liking, you're going to spoon all of the meat out and leave the juices behind. This helps make our sauce, of course. And so we're going to add some garlic and then we're going to add in our onions. And I always put the onions in first because they take a little longer to cook. Just put them in, get them nice and mixed in all the juices that are in the pan, then add your tomatoes. And I just kind of let them sit there while I go ahead with my seasonings. And it's cayenne, cumin, paprika, and salt and pepper. And then you're gonna come in also with your soy sauce, as well as some rice wine vinegar and some oyster sauce. And the star of the show is the Alo Amarillo paste, which I have not been able to find in a store. I do buy it on Amazon. Um, it's a Goya brand. I'll have it linked below. And you just kind of stir this all around. And the point here is just to cook it down to be where it's really nice and juicy. Those tomatoes are very tender. The onions are very tender. Um, I am cooking pasta off to the side. Once this is where you want it, add your beef, it, beef mixture back in. Get everything nice and combined and coated. Turn off that heat. Put the lid on it and just slide it back until you're ready to serve. This just lets everything kind of come together. Then you take your pasta and spoon it over. This is going to hit in our house. And if you make this, please let me know how you like it. And also let me know what version you make. 